There was no free pass bug and the biggest bug happening at the moment is people aren't getting event XP even after they have played some games or completed missions. Riot have updated a critical status saying we are aware of a problem granting rewards and missions and are working on a fix. All rewards gathered during this time will be granted after this is resolved. Your progress is still being tracked and it might just be a visual bug until they resolve this issue. As for farming XP and tokens I'll try and explain how it works in the simplest way possible. The first thing I want to point out is that the event is 39 days long which makes it one week longer than normal events so you have an extra seven days to farm XP and tokens. Under this new system your goal is to farm as much XP as possible. Instead of the infinite token mission you'll have an infinite XP mission where you get points per minute from winning and losing games. Once you get 200 points you will get given 200 XP. This is where they've made it confusing for no reason because points and XP are the exact same thing. To put it simply you get XP per minute from winning and losing games and the XP shows up on the progress bar every 200 XP. I mean this is so stupid they could just give people the XP after every game whether you get 130 XP or 180 XP from a game you shouldn't have to look at three different tabs and articles to try and track your progress. So using this XP per minute system assuming a 50% win rate then on average one hour of playing will get you 300 XP which is three quarters of a level. To simplify further four hours of playing will get you three levels. Note this doesn't include the XP you get from completing the missions. To get 2000 event tokens you need to reach level 47. To get 2200 tokens you need to reach level 55. If you complete the 10 missions you'll get about 10 levels. If you complete the 5 missions that go live on October the 20th you'll get about 5 more levels. And if you complete the final missions that go live on November 3rd you'll get around 10 more levels. And a world tour mission gives just over 1 level. So that's about 26 levels from the missions alone which is half of the tracker completed. Now that doesn't include the infinite XP you get from playing games however I think this will make progress slow for some people because you have to wait until those missions go live. The infinite token missions still exist and it starts at level 51 onwards so you can still earn a lot more tokens but you won't be able to until you reach level 51. This whole thing is overly complicated for no reason so I'll use 2000 tokens as an example. If you wanted to speed run 2000 tokens you can get 11 levels from missions right now and then you would need 36 more levels from playing. Using the example that you'll get 3 levels from 4 hours of playing then to get 36 more levels right now you would need to play for 48 hours which is insane when you think about it. They've obviously designed it so you have to wait until the new missions go live on October 20th and November 3rd if you didn't want to sign your life away grinding the pass early. I also want to point out that they have removed the first win of the day feature mentioned in the mythic content overhaul article without explanation nation which is a shame. I thought this was a nice change but it hasn't been included for some unknown reason. Overall given that the event is one week longer than usual you shouldn't have a problem getting to 2200 tokens. The only issue is you are dependent on waiting for those new missions to go live at later dates. So grinding will be a lot slower at the start but then once missions are live and you are closer to level 50 then you should be able to farm tokens faster towards the end of the event. Riot themselves stated at the start of the year that they may adjust tuning as needed to to ensure it doesn't take longer to grind 2000 tokens than it does now. However I'm not sure how they can possibly measure this since the missions are spaced out unevenly and 10 levels don't go live until November 3rd. If you wanted some tips and tricks on farming XP or points then I made a video 6 months ago for the Anima Squad event where those methods still apply today since it uses the exact same point system. I will post a link below. Thanks for watching, see you next time.